Hi everyone, this is John from JB. Um, this video is to show that's how do you use the Maybank Trade apps to searching the stocks and the place order. Okay, this one is the home screen. After you log in, you're able to see your uh, trading limits here, outstanding payments, everything. Hide. So it will show your watch list, watch portfolio at the bottom. You can customize the settings under the menu setting areas. Setting. So customizations. So you're able to choose to turn on or turn off the um, option right here in your home or discover screen. So the home screen you can turn on my holdings, my watch list, my portfolio. Maybe inside you can turn it on or any event like um, seminar you can turn it on. So on the second screen will be a discover. You can turn on the uh, Maybe inside market indexes, top movers or even you can turn on the news as well. So let's get up to check off the rest of the screen. Any changes of there? So it's loading. So let's go to discover. So the discover just now already turned on the market inside. This one. Market indexes. And the uh, top volume or top gainer screens. And the bottom is the news. So from the discover, you can view free page. You can have a, on, on the right side of the top gainer, you click the view all. So we'll show you the screen, top general listings. I think it's estimation about 15 counters, top loser. I'll show you the screen here, top volume. So if you want to place order to this page, you can directly click the counters if you want to. So over here, there's options for the, how you want to view the page. This one you can choose. You can view it like this or like this. So let's say on the top volume page, if you want to place order like, um, you, if you want to place order for the Dayang, you like Dayang a lot, so click Dayang. So you'll come to the Dayang page. It'll show you the big volume, big price, and the asking volume and price. Total volume, opening, high, low, previous low, IDSS, allowable or not. And at the bottom will be the uh, technicals. You can choose for one day, five days, one year charts as well. If you want to see something more better screen of the chartings, you can click on the maximizing screens on the right side. Can you run? So this one is the maximizing screen. It's loading. So they are young. This one is the line display chart. So if you prefer for the bar or candlesticks, you can choose from here. Clicking display. Let's have a look on the candles. This one is the candle chart. You can zoom out. Or you can zoom in. And let's, you can change the daily chart to the weekly or the monthly if you want to. Let's have a look on the weekly chart. This one is the weekly chart. Let's zoom out. So it seems in interesting for the Dayang. So you can navigate here, left, right, let it loot. can use two finger to maximize zoom in and zoom out. So it's seen very interesting momentum in the Nayang at this moment. Okay, you can click the cross here. It will show specific date. If you want the direct place order after you click it, for this order you can click buy. So it goes to the uh, buying screen. Okay, I reverse back. So we come back to the Nayang. Just now we come to the counters. Nayang, okay, uh, on top of the uh, screen, there are multiple choices to view the details for the Dayang transactions. So the first one would be definitely is the code, what the price right now, buying, best buy best sell. And the second is time sell, the timing, the transaction being done, buyer or seller. So you can view every seconds or even millisecond. It doesn't show the millisecond, but show the every transaction is coming. So the last transactions will be a sell order. Trying to lot 158 at uh, 459 20, 4 PM, 29 seconds. So the next uh, menu will be, you can navigate left or right for this menu screen, you can see here. Uh, beside the time and sell, you can see the market depth. Market depth will be the buying and selling bits and five bits quantities, five bits for the uh, asking price, buyer and seller price quantity. How many lot size is giving in each five quantity lower and uh, how many quantity is giving higher how many lot size is giving right there. So the market depth, the next will be a trade summary. So at each price, each every single price bit, how many transactions has been done and the volume you can see right here. The lowest 142, 
So the total bid volume five seven seven four and fifty not asking volume and price is on the right. So the highest price one six two. So next we go to the inside news. So you can see all the announcement from Dayang. All this announcement has been declared in the Busa website. So it's linked to the Busa website. If you want to see the details, you can click the each news. Have a look inside. Get the best uh, dispose 20 million shares on 25th February. So we click and go outside. You can share the info as well if you want to. Click the shares. So it will jump up something for you to share it. Okay. Let's go up. If you want to place all lot orders, uh, over here you can check the all lot info. Okay, it's a bit slow. I think uh, the price fit is not linked at this moment because it's weekend. So we skip it to the related, any related order like oh, yes, uh, it may become up like something like supply energy. You click expand, see how many counters was that? Madonna, supply energy. So you can collapse, minimize it. So back from here. So it doesn't show the outlook info right now because it's weekend. So we're back to the codes, the first page. If you want to place any order, you click buy or sell. So we have, have a look on the right side, the triple dot. What the option right there, you can click it, you can move it into the watch list. So you add it into the watch list, my favorite. If you already have the watch list, you just add it inside. If it doesn't have any at least, you need to create one watch list for yourself. Then only you can add it. So, and it also able for the investor to set the price alert. Have a look. The price alert. After you come in, it doesn't show anything. If you want to add it at the bottom, add alert. You come out the conditions. What the price alert you want to add it. Let's say, um, Current price was uh, 159, 158, sorry, 158. If you want to um, change, there are two options on the left, right, price and percentage change. So we have a look on the price. Line. So um, if we want to uh, buy, we want the alert to be alert to you that it, let's say your price target at 160. You want it to be uh, prompted to tell you it already hit your target at 160. So you need to set a condition as the, as the price move above value, you need to change it. 160. So 160. When the price die young, let's say Monday, it exceeded um, from 158, closing Friday. Let's say Monday, it opened 160, it will prompt alert to you using these apps. Even you can set the expiry, how many days the alert will be maintained into your apps. Okay. So I didn't set it, so you just click done. So, so the price alert will, will appear into the price alert system. So die young. When the price hit 160, you'll promote it to you. Of course, you need to allow the notifications for the mapping trades for you. So if you want to remove it, you swap, you ship, you ship the Dayang screen to the right side, you click remove, you, you remove it. And we're back to the, okay, remove, let's, let's remove it. Remove. So status update. It, it's already, just now you already showed the activated alert. So uh, let's say you want to place order right now, okay, for Dayang, you click buy. So you appear the screen. Best ask, which means the uh, best seller price. Because if you want to buy, uh, the screen will be appear like um, if you want to direct buy, the best buying price will be one five nine. Direct buying to the market is one five nine. If you want to queue lower, the price will be uh, any price below one five nine. You are queuing in the system. This means you are taking queue. You are not direct buying through the market. If you want to direct buying through the market, it's one five nine. So other price you have to be one five nine direct buying. If you want to queue lower, then. Um, 155, you want to kill 155, it's also all right, it's up to you. So the quantity size is uh, a lot size. If you want to place 1,000, let's say 3,000 unit, you need to key in 30. 30 is, will be uh, multiplied by 100 units, lot size. So it will be equivalent to 3,000. So then after you can, uh, after you key in, uh, if it, it comes up with the option for you to key in the password, then key in the password. If it doesn't come up, then uh, it's all right. You just go to click the um, continue. So you, you, you proceed for you, the next phase for the confirmation, then you can check the, uh, counters that you want to buy, verify the quantity and the price that you want to buy is correct, then you click proceed or OK for the confirmation orders. It goes into the um, order status. Let's have a look on the, um, where is the order status? So we, we move up. So there's a top right side, there's uh, three lines. That, that one is the menu. You want to view the um, um, order status. You click menu and then you click orders. So if any orders come out, just now, let's say just now you already placed order for the Dayang, it will appear right here. Okay, any any fulfill has been match order, it will come to the uh, field. Any key order will come to here, others will be come to here. 
So we can check the details right here. So let's have a look on the other screen. Menu, watch list. So just now, other than the main bank, uh, just now we already added the uh, Dayang as the uh, another counter into favorites. If you want to edit any things, you can come to the, uh, you can add, click the add or the edit button. Let's say I want to delete the um, Dayang, delete. So you remove from there. Okay, you can share the screen, right? Okay, the alert screen will be uh, on the third one options. So because just now already removed the, um, what it calls, the alerts, so it wouldn't appear right here. And the um, watch this top mover already show to your portfolio. If you have any counters in your portfolio, it will appear here at the bottom. Menu, account summary, model portfolio, model portfolio. It comes with the options for you to uh, consider any counter that might be uh, in a growth category, new category, or value and category. category. So let's have a look, growth. So there are eight counters has been selected under the growth counters. You can add it into the um, watch list immediately, clicking the plus button icon, you just click it. So add to the watch list, you select the watch list, so you appear into your watch list, simple and easy. Okay, if you go back to home screen, so you appear the, uh, my watch list, my portfolio, upcoming event, there's no event at this moment. And if you want to direct search counter, it's, it's right on top. There's one search column on top of it. Search, you just key in any things that you are prefer at this moment, what counters are. Um, let's say CMB, have a look, search. So it come up a lot of CMB stocks, 11, 11 right here. So if you want to view all 11 counters that related to the CMB, then you click expand on the right side. So you collapse all everything, including the Warren, CMB, and the ETF as well. ETF, CMB, A40, C50, and all, all your warrants. So we collapse it. Send at the bottom that related to the uh, CMB counters. We come with the uh, insights, what the target price has been given by the main banks. So you can see, it. so it's suggesting hold with a target of 5, 585. So if you want to check the um, report of this, you click on it. So you come out the uh, details. So at the bottom here, there's uh, some comment at the bottom. So it also shows that consensus target price, how many percent is buying, selling, and the whole suggestions. Will consensus charge? So all this one is the, um, is very, a lot of info inside right here, right? So we quit, and uh, 52 weeks high low, it doesn't show right now. Okay, average daily traded value for seven. So it providing more info right here. If you want to add to into the watch list on the right side, this one plus. Just add it. So we move back, main course. So the first report was the, uh, on 1st of March 2019, quite latest research report by the main banks. So the old report also show at the bottom. Okay, let's have a look other than the inside. On the middle one, there's videos, anything, no data. On the right side, news. So this one is the news related, all related to the CMBI, including the DF, warrants, everything. It will appear right here. All this one is compiled into the, uh, from the announcement in the BUSA, all compiled into one. So we just cancel, we move up. So on top is the searching for the counter that you want to trade. So on the top right bottom, there's one trade icon button. So you want to direct place order, then you click trade. You search the counter that you want. Search. You choose the counter CMB, this one. And you place order. That's it. Very simple and easy. So that's all for today. Thank you very much.